pressure for this mast to lift the fork assembly. I need to build a set of pulleys on top of this cylinder rod so that the cables which will go over the top of that pulley will then attach to the trolley. The other side of this trolley, this is the back of the mast. The front side, which is the underside here, will, ha will carry the carriage and the forks. But a cable that is attached at the base of the mast and goes over the top of these pulleys and then back down long enough for this uh, kit for the carriage to be all the way at the bottom as the cylinder rod goes up that cable will lift the trolley assembly the carriage assembly to the top of to the top of the mast so I need to build the problem at hand is to build the pulley assembly here that will support the cables going over the top of the rod and we'll attach them to the eye here on the end of the rod. This episode is uh, working on the mast and the lift assembly, trying to get the uh, cables set up and the trolley connected to the trolley so that uh, we have a working lift mechanism. We're going to work uh, probably the next couple days for me, next 30 minutes or so for you guys on the mass assembly here.
my poo poo. Mm, my good poo poo.
What's going on, Butchie? Huh? Brutus? What's going on? Huh? What you doing? Causing trouble outside? Are you causing trouble outside too? Huh?
This plate is a reinforcement for the bottom of the trolley and the bolts for the cable attachment will go through this basically here and here and so I'm going to go drill these on the mill and then we'll come back and transfer punch and use a mag drill to drill the holes through this plate. So this is 3 8 inch, this is quarter inch and this will be on the bottom of the trolley so it will support the just probably overkill but air on the side of caution have plenty of strength on the bottom of the trolley since this is where all the weight of the forks and whatever's on the forks will be transferred to this this plate can't very easily get the mag drill lined up on this hole because of the the bench there's really not enough room for the magnets on here this plate itself so I'm just going to drill this by hand not my favorite thing to do but Since it's only quarter inch, it's not bad. Let me get the broom and clean these chips up.
Someone commented uh, a couple months ago about <laughs> cleaning up the, make sure you clean up the chips so the dogs don't get into them. And I commented back, answered their question. I said, I'm pretty meticulous about that. You know, I'm acutely aware of the dogs being in here. And so anytime I make any chips, any metal chips that they can possibly walk on or get into, I'm sweeping and vacuuming. This shop gets swept every day and vacuumed whenever I make chips that they can get into. And if that's not the case, then it gets vacuumed uh, pretty, almost every day, not maybe not every day, but at least every other day. Uh, keep the dog hair down and clean up any other any other dirt debris. Uh oh, here comes Butchie. All right, Butchie boy, just in time. I vacuumed in here for you. Don't get anything in your feet. What a good boy. Where's your little brother, huh? Where's your little brother? Here he comes. Here comes Brutus. You being a good boy, huh? You being good boys? Okay, good boys. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I was running the plasma table a bit ago and the, of course the combination of the air compressor and the air dryer and the plasma table and everything, it's, they just, I mean, clearly you don't want them around when you're welding or running the plasma. I mean, I don't think they can see the plasma torch from down where they are, but you certainly don't want them seeing the, any welding hurt their eyes. You've been good boys. They've been good boys. Yeah, my good puppies. I wonder if anybody would like a treat. Anybody want a treat? Look at this, Brutus. You guys need to sit. Let me get you to sit. Okay, good boys. That's the last of that bag. I'll come back and weld this lower plate. Actually, probably don't even need to since all the force is going in this direction, but I'll at least tack it in place so it doesn't come loose. Probably don't even need to because I got it bolted. All right, so those are the cable attachment points. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Uh, got a lot accomplished on the mast. 
as you can see I've got the lift cylinder the pulley assembly the rear braces uh, on the back of the mass uh, the one thing I do need to do and I will do is create a stop at the top of the mast so that there's no way the trolley can come off. I think this cylinder will lift this pulley assembly above the top of the mast. So I need to make a stop assembly. These are only tack welded on right now for the time being, um, but I'll fully weld them when I'm sure about the position. Uh, got the trolley largely done here the attachment points for the cables so the cables will run from the bottom of the mast here i'll come back with the mag drill and drill a couple of holes for uh, the eye bolts here on either side of the of the cylinder and we'll run the cables you know over now in case there's any questions about the strength of any of this. The eye bolts are rated at a uh, safe working load of 2,200 pounds each. The cable is rated at 1,550 safe working load. And I have a pair of cables, so I have redundant cables. So if one breaks, the other one can hold the load, no problem. And same with the, the eye bolts. So everything is uh, overbuild and redundant in that regard so the next thing we come back next week we'll uh, finalize the mast I did get the forks they're here on the floor A pair of um, 36 inch 3,000 pound rated forks so now I have the dimensions for the uh, attachment points on the back of the, the fork so I can start designing the carriage assembly that will eventually bolt to this trolley and so that'll be something I work on between now and next week and maybe we'll be able to make some progress on that as well but the next thing to do really I got to take this hydraulic cylinder off because I can't lift this mass with the cylinder on it because it's just getting too heavy. So we have to get the mass upright and then bolted to the support subframe. So there'll be two bolts at the bottom here and then tilt cylinders. I need to, uh, once we get the mass vertical, then I can take measurements for the tilt cylinders decide on the attachment points, weld uh, pins to each side of the mast at the appropriate point so the tilt cylinder cylinders can control the angle of the mast. So I, like I said, I'm going to take the cylinder off and I can stand the mast up. I can manage it. I think the way it is, it's, it's getting pretty heavy. And uh, then I put the cylinder the cylinder back on. I mean, the cylinder probably weighs 50, 60, 70 pounds, something like that. Don't know for sure, but it's heavy enough that it makes the mast just too heavy for, for me to manage. And I don't want to hurt myself. So we'll come back next week, continuing to work on the mast, maybe get it uh, set up here on the subframe and look at the forks and how they're going to how they're going to be mounted so thanks for watching appreciate uh, a thumbs up comment uh ring the bell subscribe if you haven't already uh, and we'll see you guys next week